Despite media reports of easing tensions in the Middle East, oil remains above $80 per barrel. Brand crude started to move sideways after losing its upside momentum around $82 per barrel. Then the volume of short positions increased, bringing the quote down below the 80 mark. Despite its speculative nature, this move did not lead to dramatic market shifts as the quote almost returned to pre-decline levels. A downtrend will continue if the asset fixes below the level of 80. Otherwise, the benchmark may well return to $82 per barrel. That's uh, the area of a stagnation. Following the news that Israel's cabinet had approved the ceasefire, um, ceasefire deal with the Hamas militant group, Oil prices tried to fall below this mark. However, given that there are still risks of a wider regional conflict, the market is scrambling for some kind of equilibrium. Moreover, the US market is closed today due to the Thanksgiving holiday, so trading activity is unlikely to increase before tomorrow. All of the above um, is also true for gold. The yellow metal has stabilized just below $2,000 per ounce in anticipation of the latest updates on the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. If the parties indeed agree to at least a temporary truce, gold will immediately go down. Otherwise, the metal will break through $2,000 per ounce and try to consolidate above this psychological level. Speaking of the Russian currency, the situation remains unchanged. The US dollar is still trading around the 88 mark as investors are awaiting the next package of sanctions from the European Union. Unfortunately, there are no specifics on this issue to this day, as the market is likely to keep drifting at the current levels. From a technical point of view, the dollar is in, in oversold territory. However, market participants may well ignore this signal when trading this currency pair. And that's all for now. We continue to follow developments in the financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow the news with us. And see you soon!